Uh, whoop. I don't know if this is actually showing because I have the wrong thing pulled up. Looks like it's working. Hello. Ugh. I'm a very sleepy boy. Well, not very sleepy, but I'm pretty sleepy. I think. Oh. I think, um, I think after this run, I'm going to maybe head to bed. I'm trying to wait for Jackie to get home because I want to hang out with her before I have to work my double tomorrow, but I think it's probably not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, as they all always say all the time. They just can't stop saying it. Just can't get enough of saying that stuff. You know, I wonder how they uh, how they programmed the key bullet can. Because it's not... You'd think the obvious solution would be it's based on your proximity, but sometimes... I'll be really close to a key bullet kin, and it'll, like, behave as if I'm not even there. Um, it seems like it needs to be, like, proximity and line of sight or something. I don't know. Uh, it's always interesting to think about things. Uh, but yeah, I, I've been, uh, I've been a little bit, like, delayed on playing this game. I, the last one I did yesterday was uh, the first one in about a, a calendar week. Um, and it felt good to be back. The run went really, really well. But, you know, it also felt pretty good to... to not have... Uh, to not have been, like, beholden to playing the game. Not that I hate Gungeon or anything like that. It's just... Man, shit. Sometimes I hate... Dungeon. Uh, it's nice to take a little, ooh, 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 a little breathy boy sometimes, you know? As grown men say. It's nice to sometimes just take a little tiny baby breathy boy. Hopefully I can get through this fight flawlessly, but, uh, well actually, really super hopeful because uh, I can make a ton of money if I have good health on my side. But if not, it's going to be harder to get that active item over there. And I'm playing as a character with like the... Not necessarily the shortest range, but some pretty fucking short range. Most of, man, most of the the benefits of her tool set are from maintaining distance. The difference keep your distance. Who's that? The master mark. There we go. Use both of our blanks. It's kind of a bummer, but oh my god, we got so much money, and we'll comfortably get more money. Going on. What for? <sighs> no keys. We're not starting off as key rich as we did on the last run. But we're still, uh, still doing pretty well. Stay with that barrel. I wonder how anyone can even to suggest that she's not the, doesn't have the most damage output of any first floor, or any uh, starting character on the first floor. Oh man, this is like, this is unprofessional. There we go, we're actually at zero. And I can't say that I'm not, to some degree, a professional at this with the, uh, my second ever Twitch paycheck. I actually don't know where my Twitch money goes. Maybe to my PayPal account? I don't know. I was going to put it all to a donation to the Sanders campaign. And uh, then I just didn't know where the money was. So 
So, we can do f maybe four. I think big boy is just one. Yeah. So here's what I'm gonna do. Do that, I'll do this one more time. And then since we got, uh, since we got the extra stuff, I think we'll be all right. Doom, 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 doom. This is going to be a run where a million active items drop. Uh, I just know it. Just trust me on this one, big boy. Surprised that active item didn't drop there. If you want the honest to God mess truth, well, wow. we get a little bit more money since we got a little bit more armor. Okay, with this we still have seven hits that we can take, and we're sitting on 161 casings, which is. Dope. We can lose all of this in one room. Uh, not super likely that we'll do that before we get any health or armor. But whatever. Ah, and then they give us the room. The room de resistance. Uh, I finished watching the most recent season of Samurai Jack, which. I thought it was really, really good. Uh, I really like Samurai Jack. It's a show that uh, kind of focuses almost exclusively on style. Uh, the whole point of it is to be like aesthetically pleasing, I think. Whoa, what? Don't even know what hit me there. Um, the whole point of it is to be aesthetically, aesthetically pleasing and to be interesting well choreographed fight scenes with an interesting art style. Um, Gendy Tartakovsky is known for making incredible stuff. I'm pretty sure he's the guy who uh, created the Powerpuff Girls. I know he created Dexter's Lab. I, I don't know if he like was the showrunner for Powerpuff Girls, but uh, pretty sure he created them. Um, uh, on the What a Cartoon show, or the cartoon cartoon show, um, which is a show that used to have shorts by aspiring uh, showrunners. This was after he'd already done Dexter's Lab, I'm pretty sure. Um, but he, I think he proposed a different idea for a team of, you know, Pre-adolescent superheroes, superheroines. Uh, no, not pre-adolescent. They're like kindergarten age, right? Um, and you know, he already had Dexter's Lab, which was really big on kind of over-the-top action. Uh, those old show shows, though, and even old uh, Samurai Jack, were pretty much like uh, standalone. Episodes, they never they never got to be more than that because of the nature of cartoons at the time. Uh, so, Cartoon Network cartoons, and I think a lot of TV shows were meant to be like they were meant to be rerun proof. Meaning, well, not rerun proof, but like uh, they were meant to function fully as reruns where you didn't need any backstory in order to uh, know what was going on. You, you couldn't get lost. Because reruns are great for advertisers. They, they cost no more money to air, uh, and you get to continue to make ad revenue. You know, if a show has a new episode, a lot of times you can kind of push it as some event. Oh god, that was close. Um, but, you know, reruns are money in the bank. Um, 
I don't know how reruns work uh, modern day because it seems like everything is online. I don't. I think maybe everything can be, uh, you know, not syndicated, but uh, everything can be serialized. Everything can have a long form narrative because of the fact that it's all online and that kind of allows shows like um, Samurai Jack to have a greater f freedom in storytelling. The first four seasons were, you know, they had that narrative about Jack versus Aku, but you can never really wrap things up, and I think the series ended uh, without a conclusion. They might have had some, some final kind of like, we know we're going to get canceled uh, episodes, because I don't think it did super well. Uh, people who wanted action shows for watching anime kind of, you know, because of Toonami and uh, I think early Adult Swim. So there wasn't a ton of room. Man, why can't I get any fucking health for the first time ever? Uh, so there wasn't a ton of room for serialized action shows that had smaller US buzz budgets, you know? Um, anime had the talent and the uh, money behind it to really, really pump out high quality action content. It had to be more aiming for uh, young kids with disjointed plot lines. And I think that's kind of why I stopped watching Samurai Jack, because it just felt like, the, the, the same thing with every TV show. It felt like you'll never get any kind of, anything close to closure on a show like that. You'll never get a story fully told. You'll just get a bunch of tidbits and moments. Interesting fight sequences, but the whole thing about Aku sending sending Jack to the future was just a way to allow <laughs> space battles with Samurai in it, it felt like. Uh, but, you know, I, I did like the show growing up, and it's really nice to see that Gunny Tartagovsky got to wrap it up. And he got to do so in a pretty uh, fulfilling way. Apparently, a lot of people didn't like the last season. Um, it kind of ends, sadly, it ends the way that most... I'm, I'm not going to go into specifics because I'm sure, you know, absolutely no one's watching this video. But I'm also sure that... I don't know how, how old the... Uh, thing is, so I'll just talk about it anyway, um, <laughs> because I just realized it probably ended two years ago or something, and the viewership for these videos is extremely low anyway, so kind of a win-win for spoilers. Ooh, this guy's a mimic? For real? Not bad, Brad. Uh, Yeah, you know, it, it, it ends the way that all time travel story ends. Stories end with with it being the case that causality has to be retained. So what happens? What happened was, in order to kill Aku, Jack had to go back to the past and fight him there before his power had taken form. Uh, and to do so. Uh, he lost someone that was very special to him that he gained in the future because causality was uh, uh, what's the word causality was violated so they had to be like well you, you can't you can't violate causality sucks but that's just the nature of things that's the nature of time travel anytime it looks like you're going to change the, the past with elements from the future you're going to lose the elements of the future. We learned that from back toward the future. We learned it from Avengers Endgame. If you're not going to do separate timelines, you can't do... You can't have people jumping from different time. Zuh.
Gunder Fury is absolutely incredible. And like, it's like scary levels of good where I, I feel more like I'm going to make a mistake because I have something that's going to kill my ability to <laughs> to think. How much is going to be taken care of? There's Jackie. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hey. What? You working out? No, I finished working out a long time ago. What? I finished working out a long time ago. I know that. Took a shower, save, shaved, and uh, I'm just recording a Gungeon. I'm like, I'm very, I'm very, very sleepy. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump off what? I'm gonna jump off there and I'm gonna hide Oh, okay. okay. Alright. Love you. See you soon. Bye. Bye, baby. Oh, that was super scary. This thing fucking flies through ammo. I'm trying to not hold the trigger at all, but it's kind of hard. Oh my god. I thought for sure we were turning it in there. Ooh, scary. A lot of rooms with traps in them. They're not really trap rooms because, you know, was, there were enemies as well. Dude, I think that was two shots. Yeah, it's probably on the other side. Well, maybe it's in the other side of the uh, Winchester's game. Money's looking snackish. Alright, let's go fight the boss now. See if we can get some flight, maybe? Before we do this. Well, The fight's always, always scary. Like, 100% of the time, I get scared during that fight. Uh, not that I'm going to lose, but that I'm going to get hit. I may take... Oh, fuck yeah. I think that's 1.5. It's 3 press. Absolutely. I'm so glad I didn't come this way. That's a fucking mimic. I love seeing it. Ooh, I love seeing that. Don't care so much about that one myself. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's coolness. Buy this. It'd be like actually foolish for us to not go to the rat this time. This one's a lot harder without a, uh, without wings. I mean, they're all harder without wings, but you know what I'm saying. Ooh, perfect shot. 
most imperfect timing. I'm like pressing too hard on it. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Jarby's no thanky. Spong. All right, it's time to stop being so spendy. Stop being so more can spendy over here. But let's get going. The uh, the sponge is going to make it, which I don't actually remember if I grabbed. Yeah, the sponge is going to make it a lot easier to use our thing comfortably. Our explosive friend. Huh, I don't know if starting weapons is going to work. Yeah. The damage bonus is helping, but that still took way too long for the first room. First wave of the first room. Those barriers are the fucking worst. Viceroy early in the morning. I listened to Mac DeMarco a little bit recently, not a, not a lot. I, uh, Mac DeMarco was really big in Kansas City, uh, and maybe the rest of the world. I don't know. I, I know specifically that he was big in Kansas City. Um, I'm not saying he wasn't big elsewhere. Why would you imply that? Um, but. It's weird because, like, you know, like everybody, they have some some swings and some misses. Oh, Lord. That would give me 3.5 more and put us at 6. Yeah, we're doing it. 4, 5, 6. Right? Let's, let's just fucking do it. Uh, let's live life to the fullest. We have a bunch of extra damage now. And, um, I honestly think that the extra damage is going to make, what's it called, freaking mind-blowing. Get out. A dinosaur, sorry. So we're gonna get a ton of extra money from jammed enemies now because of the book bag. We're gonna get... We're going to be doing better damage. We're still going to have to deal with fucking 300% damage. Or 300% health mobs. Which is a real pain. But, the worst comes to worst, we can start using the Gunder Fury as a room clear. Which we only hold off on because of its boss power. Dude, just fuck off, damn it. Ugh, almost made it through that room without getting hit. We don't have any extra blanks coming from anywhere, that's a little... Or like a uh, explosive weapon or anything. So we're gonna have to save our... Save our things for the end. This way looks like it's definitely not the way to the boss, but we might as well clear it. Oh, wow! Huh. I'm a damned fool.
There we go. That was exactly how I wanted that fight to go. Like, exactly. I mean, it would have been nice to one-shot blow the thing up, but... Unnecessary. Oh my god. Uh. Hold on, I gotta check something. Neat. A good one. All right. Everything's coming up. Regular. So now we got a room clear uh, or two. The heroin's not the world's the best gun. It's a uh, it's one of those guns that can really handle the early stresses of a room easily. But I need to find something else that'll uh, I'll kind of pick up the slack of the second half of rooms. Or I just need to be patient with it. Um, this run, it has everything going in its favor. The only thing that could really... The most obvious improvement would be silver bullets on top. Uh, and like, you know, sooner as opposed to later. Then, other than that, everything feels dope aesthetic. Come on. It's not there. Lord. Punk's like, yo! I'm like, yo! <laughs> fast reload. And a thing that sucks with fast reload. So. Would have been nice. Would have been nice. Oh, well, we're out of here. We're ski daddling. I'm gonna turn this thing in. We still don't have any extra blanks, so ammo would be really useful for this boss, but not super necessary with the uh, the minigun and the Thunder Fury. Like, not what you would call, you know, a deal breaker. We will get, we have guaranteed ammo coming from a, uh, Whatchamacallit. The rat floor itself, so. What's this fucking thing? I think one step over it should work, right? Now, this is. No. I was gonna, I was gonna do something stupid. Uh, and then be like, this is a stupid way to approach this. But, like, just don't do the stupid thing. Samurai Jack, watching a show like Samurai Jack takes me back to uh, my more formative years. It's like, okay, so I'm not trying to do the, like, kids these days or, you know, my generation had real art or whatever. Because, you know, Adventure Time came out when I was already a fucking adult. And that show's amazing. As well as, you know, Steven Universe or whatever other shows they they put in that same vein, you know. I, I, I didn't live at the golden age of cartoon television. Actually, the whole point I made earlier proves the exact opposite. A little bit of the time when cartoons had to be dumbed down and simplified uh, 
for them to be on the air at all. And it's really great to see that that's no longer the case. It's also really great to see that the whole idea of being on the air is kind of out of fashion. Hmm. I don't believe I was aiming for these guys, but... <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like Gendy Tartakovsky was maybe not like an integral part of my childhood. You dirty, rotten, sack of bastard shit. Um, you know, he wasn't like critical. If his cartoons hadn't existed, I would have filled that media hole with some other media. So it's not like I couldn't have lived with the G-Man. Uh, but it is really nice to have uh, been able to experience his works. I like. I don't know. I, I think that Samurai Jack is a, a is a fuck is a fantastic show, and I hope that more people got to experience it because of its resurgence or its a. Uh, it's fifth season. It's great that shows are getting closure they didn't get before, you know? Like, uh, Rocco's Modern Life got a final episode in the form of a Netflix special. Invader Zim also. You know, I don't know if those were considered by the uh, creators of the show final episodes or whatever. But it is really nice, from my perspective, for these shows to to get a second life or a second chance or to get to this to see the light of day in a time that, you know, hopefully they're not just all writing on nostalgia factor, but the quality, the caliber of the most recent season of Samurai Jack doesn't seem to be just being like, remember, hey, you remember when the Samurai did this? It seems like it's its own its own standalone thing. It, it, it's valuable in its own right. So, we're gonna go use these two blanks. We might buy another blank to do. If we find a secret, we're not gonna buy another blank if we don't find a secret. I know that money is, it's pretty silly to be spending or to uh, be worried about making money at this point in this run, at this time of year. Concentrated entirely in your kitchen. But, why the fuck not? Why not do things right? Get on the floor, move your questions right. I think we pretty much can't, uh, we can't pick up any other, any other curse, right? There's no .5 curse Things besides level one of uh, spice, which spice limits too much for my liking. And we couldn't take more than one anyway without being in the doghouse. Oh, there's a secret room. Get on the floor and do your questions right. Hmm. Why can't she crawl? We're gonna do it. And we're also going to buy some more stuff. Uh, I mean, we're also going to Sell some extra hearts first. Because we've got two more coming up. It is not a two more.
Well, we can go get one more. It's not a one more. Eh, something to burn through. And then let's just GT the fuck on up, up, out of here, on up. And I'm probably just gonna use Gunder Fury on the way through. I might use the glass cannon as something to sort of rub it. There's no reason in that, Gunder. We'll get all of this ammo back very shortly. in the dick. And yeah, we're going to vulcanize this first phase for the most part, I believe. shooting or something would set those off. That was good. That was very good. Uh, I could actually pick up the red ammo with this one, right? Oh, we did get a fuck, didn't we? Oh, I I just like went ahead and said the punch out win, even though we haven't gotten it yet. That was like that was too fast. Dude, the RC rocket and the balloon gun. What? I thought I got that one for sure. Got- oh fuck, okay. Well, time to stop screwing around. Just get through this fight. <laughs> Holy shit. The hubris, man. The fucking hubris. The fucking hubris! You gotta be kidding me! That's crazy. That's all right. I haven't lost the rat fight in so long. Man. After the like fucking fastest of all time rat clear, I fucked up there. I'm like, I'm shocked. Literally the only piece I 
actually care about. Ah, I should have gone left. Okay. That's hilarious. Why didn't I block the second one of those? I thought I had it in the bag. Anyway. So now we can't leave things on the floor like, uh, like the plan was before. Zero Ranger. Watch you streaming some ZR. I might pop into there. It's been a good, hot, long, hot dog of a minute. Since I've seen how the Squatch is doing. Eh, it worked. That was the dumbest possible way. Jesus Christ, Blood Lady, what's your problem? Maybe she's more likely to show up if you have a uh, high curse. Because uh, that's been pretty frequent. This is like, this is a ridiculous run. It's, it's dumb that I lost that rat fight, but it's, it almost, or the, the punch out, but it almost proves how far this run already was because I'm not feeling much of a difference. Uh, I don't have, I don't have now the ability to, uh, suck up bullets, but it's not a big deal. To me, at least. I got the one that I wanted, and I got it for complete free. Because of all this curse I got. You know what series I almost, uh, I sometimes consider watching because I've never seen it, but then I'm like, I don't need to just watch things because I haven't seen them. That's fucking stupid. Uh, it is the Indiana Jones series. Uh, I've never seen any of those movies. I've seen clips and bits and highlights, and I know that, like, a guy's face melts, and I know that a, uh... Yeah, you know, he, like, weighs a bag of sand or something. Because he thinks the thing is, like, pressure sensitive. Or something. Whatever. Um, the Nazis are bad. Which I wish more people knew. Like, <laughs> these days. And, uh... I think that's about as much of that movie as I only know. Oh my god. It has to be. Like, the easiest guys to use that against. Jeez. Snub Nose 38 Special. Let's go ahead and get this one. I like how busted it looks. So that was completely nothing. Is the 38 special just the exact same as the, uh, maybe slightly better damage, but otherwise? Uh, a simpleton's five shot. In a similar manner to the, uh, the thing we started with. I should have seen what our buddy Goopton had to say after I freaking bought his spun.
After I bought his spawn. There are too many ways to... Too many ways to talk about Yism. Spunk being one of them. Wow. Wow. This is a broken ass freaking run. Like, look at how fucking good the watering can is. Especially with oiled cylinder. And the extra damage. But just on its own, it's a work of blarp. We're gonna get 22 back. God, it's gonna take us a long time to get there. Um, and then, and sell some hearts, sell some guns. We should be in the 700 plus club. Mutation, yucko. It gives us a fuse buster. A run with three vampires, man. Like, save some for the rest of the fucking game. Oh, we can sell that, like, right now. Oh yeah, double money. There are certain guns that I will drop 100% of the time. Jackie Sawoom. Wait, budget revolver. They look so similar. Double income is insane. Some in insane in some. Let's just get out of here. We gotta finish this round. I didn't want to check for secrets because fuck them. I can't believe I lost the <laughs> punch out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Huh? What? I think Jackie's talking on the phone. Not even saying hello to her husband. Weird shit. Weird shit. That's cool, we'll probably get it. Hello. Hi, baby. Hello. You have a good shift? Do you have a good one? That's a good shift. Yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Dang. We got the mutation if we need it for those guys. Do, 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 do. <laughs> In the pit, I don't care about how you die, just be dead. Dude, this run, we got that like 60% extra damage and the 25% uh, damage, so that's we're looking at 80% damage increase on every gun, on every shot, and then faster reloads just speeding the whole thing along. And I, I swear to god, faster reloads means faster charging. I'm gonna close the door. We kill that jam guy. Quicker than a dick scan. Well, I didn't need to waste any ammo if we were just gonna <laughs> do that that way.
Dang, that sucked. I don't like getting hit. At all. Okay, so... We can maybe make this into at least a little bit of something. Oh wait, you know what? Let's actually go ahead and take that guy on. Let's get to another checkpoint. I want to take this guy in because I want to get the ammo at the most useful time. Because of the DPS count, there is still a chance that we uh, take damage on this one. I'm hoping not, but... We can only deal out so much damage at a time, no matter what, until we get to the final phase. There we go. Oh, fast roll. Last roll kind of scared me there. Alright, we at least got... <laughs> what? God, god damn it. That punch out win. Or that punch out fight, I should say. I don't know why we wouldn't buy that stuff, but we're gonna we're gonna wait it out a little bit. You know what? I'm gonna f go ahead and just have a little blast, like I never do. This thing is definitely a mimic. No. Sorry, Casey, not to Daisy. Rat's gonna still cut. Hmm. <laughs> It's nice. It's nice to be able to use this as a room clearer for once. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. I'm like burning extra. Okay, so now we can use it for the water. Watering can, which is. It should get its own thing anyway. So much time between shots. Jesus Christ, the ammo is ridiculous. Another nope for me, dog. There. Maybe it won't show up anymore. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Did I shoot this one at all? Alright, well. 
That's it. Didn't even get the opportunity to buy that ammo. We'll just fly through the rest of this. I don't super care too much about uh, leveling this thing up. The likelihood we might use it on phase one of the Lich, but I doubt we'll even need it. It'd be kind of cool to see what kind of damage it does on phase one, but I'm not going to put my all behind making sure that that becomes a reality. It will go a lot faster once this thing mutates once. That extra damage must be like double. Dang. I like can't get rid of these bullets fast enough before ammo shows up. Hey, I actually landed that without thinking about it. It was a lucky reload. Alright guys, with jammed enemies, they just gotta be taken care of. Sorry, guys. Using a better gun. Sorry. Oh my god, he actually caught all of them. I've never seen him catch all of those. It was crazy. I don't mind speeding up this terrible room a little bit. Hmm. All of that. It's a little closer than I would like it to be. I'm only gonna use 200 more ammo. Dang, this thing was super hyper suck to reload without the oil cylinder because geez it feels like it's still taking its DST about uh brutes. Yeah. I mean what I mean what do you have to lose but like also the... what would it hurt? At, like you you could at least build a relationship like hey like this seemed like a dream job for me. I just like to know if there's anything I could work towards to making something like that a reality. Boom, you set up a good rapport, you got to hear back from them, and you're not pestering them. That's a great job, a great idea. 
<laughs> There's no reason to just give up because the first thing was a no. I don't know either, baby. Wow, we're at the fucking end. Holy shitting crap god. Crap god's uh, Eminem's new poop based album that he's coming out with. No, I'm on the final boss. <laughs> It'll be like less than two minutes. No, but. Can you say I'll. I'll in less than two minutes, yes. <laughs> Go ahead and do this one now. I guess we should start firing the other one as, as soon as uh, the other one's gone because it might still be under the umbrella. Okay, well, that didn't happen, but the umbrella. Ella, Ella, A, A. I immediately went to freaking 45 degree angle. Like a dumb shit. Like I always do. You know what? Doesn't matter. I don't know why I switched. Oh, I mean, I guess I could have assigned a second useful weapon there. So that's a, a Fock <laughs> GL with a stupid, stupid POW loss. I cannot believe I went to the rat and lost the, the punch out. It was the most fitting way to lose it, too. 303 is done. I'm running upwards to 304. Holy crap. What a wealthy run. That was financially sound from like, I think floor one had the first thing. 2,266 casings, my god. Jeez.